Hello and welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. This week, I am going to show you how a report can be exported into Excel to modify it the way you want it and add it back to Job Boss with the information that's important to you and your company. Looking in Job Boss, you can see that I have run my active jobs report. My active jobs report contains a lot of important information to me, but I want to take it one step further. I want to take that data and I want to analyze it for all of my backlog orders that are in the system. So the first step to doing that is I want to select the export button here at the very top of your screen. Once you select export, you're going to want to choose the format as Microsoft Excel data only. From there, your destination should be application. Once you've selected those options, you're going to hit the OK button, which is going to bring up an additional window for you. If you select the Options button, there are additional options that you can choose from. You'll want to make sure that you're um, exporting this as the Excel format as typical. Your column width should be column width based on objects in the details. And the checkboxes that should be checked are Use Worksheet Functions for Summaries, Maintain Column Alignment, export page header and page footer and simplify page headers. From there you'll select the OK button and now Job Boss is going to push that report out to Microsoft Excel where, I, where it's going to um, be formatted a little bit differently than the way that you were just viewing it within Job Boss. So it gets kind of mumble jumbled when it gets exported originally to Excel and that's because it was a stacked report within Job Boss. So from there, you may need to reformat this report, or you will need to reformat this to the way that you want to view it. Now you can see across the top, I don't have any column headers. I don't have really any of the information. It doesn't really make a ton of sense the way it's laid out when it initially is exported to Excel. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a macro, so every time I export my active jobs report, I can run the macro and it'll be formatted in the way that I wish to review this or view this information. So I'm going to select view at the top here and I'm going to select macros and you can see I have created a macro for my active jobs. So I'm going to hit the run button and when I do that it's going to run that report and organize it or format it in the way that I wish to view it. Now I had previously created that macro and, and really told Excel how I want to view this so every time I export that active jobs report into Excel it'll format it just in this way. Now, I told you I wanted to view all of my backlog information, so what I actually did is I took some custom fields within Job Boss, or not custom fields, but I created a custom report based on fields in Job Boss for my backlog total. So I'm going to go and show you that report real quick. So you can see I've formatted that information that came from my active jobs to be the way that I want to view that, but I've also taken this a step further and created a summary of my backlog total as well as a pivot table or a bar graph that goes along with what is my total for backlogs for the month of November. Now that I've gone and customized this report I want to be able to share this with others within my company that find this information or will find this information beneficial. So what I can do is I need to share this to a shared folder within my system and I can actually upload it back into Job Boss. So I've actually already saved this to a shared folder so I'm gonna jump into Job Boss and I want to make sure that I select my reports tab and then I'm gonna select user defined when I select the user defined button you're gonna get the user defined window or the re user defined report setup window that'll populate or um, pop up and then I'm gonna select what folder I want to save this so I'm gonna select order processing in this case because that's where my active jobs is and that's where I want to share my backlog information from there, I'm going to select the new button to upload a new report into Job Boss. I want to make sure I call this report name the same thing that I called it when I saved it to my desktop or to my shared folder, rather, from Excel. So we're going to call this Active Jobs 1122. I want to make sure that my report type is going to be Other. And then I want to give it a description. So this is going to be our backlog totals for 11 2016 so I'm going to type in 11 2016 and then the most important part I guess is to actually attach that report so we're going to select the user defined tab here we're going to go to browse 
and we're going to go and find our report from our shared folder. Here's Active Jobs 1122. Hit open, and then we want to make sure that we hit the save button here at the top. From there, I can hit close, and you're going to see a, a little informational window pop up, and then you'll just hit the OK button. And if we go back under reports and we expand order processing, you're going to find that new report right there in your order processing folder where you saved it. From there, I can just select that report by clicking on it one time, and it's going to actually launch that report into Excel. And now I can view that custom report in, in Excel through JobBoss. So that is it for this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. We'll look to catch you in the next couple of weeks here with a brand new Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in a couple of weeks.